this year, across the country, women have been elected to political office at historic levels now, including here in Massachusetts. Now, according to Time Magazine, at least 90 women are expected to make their way to Washington, D.C. this month. And yesterday, female business women, political leaders, and active community members all came together at the seventh annual women's conference held at Lombardo's in Randolph. Now, it's an event hosted by Anna Foster of, you may know, a Maven's World lifestyle brand. Yes, we know her. She's been here before. The conference featured, get this, two keynote speakers, over 500 attendees, 20 panelists, and 40 vendors. And the conference is a signature women's empowerment event that brings together women entrepreneurs and professionals for a day of development, empowering, and network. The flyer of the yesterday show is up on screen. You can tell all these wonderful women were there. But here to talk more about why these events are so important, we will welcome the host and founder, Anna Foster, and the event speaker and attorney, Freya Allen Schaffner. Welcome to Urban Update, ladies. Thank you. Welcome, thank I know you. you are a little bit tired, but it's worth it, right, from yesterday's event? <laughs> yes, Indeed. Absolutely. Success? Yes, Success. yes. We wouldn't have changed anything about it. So and happy 2000, 2019. Yes, happy yes. New Year. Happy, happy New, New Year. year. Happy New Year. <laughs> happy New year. Get <laughs> yes, indeed. Now, Anna, this is the seventh annual event. Um, why do you do this every year? Hmm. Well, I love it. I'm very passionate about it. And um, it brings together a great group of women every year, new and old. So, so, so your list yeah. of friends every year after the conference <laughs> gets yes. longer, right? It does. It does. And it's a great way to kick off the new year and set goals and aim high. And look at the previous year, and too. And look at the previous year and build new connections. So it's just an amazing experience. Good. Now, speaking of that, how did uh, you get involved? Because you're one of the speakers. And I'm going to ask you a little bit about what you spoke about. But how, how did you kind of come together with this wonderful person? Oh, well, Anna and I have known each other now for several years. And we connected on many levels, both in our educational background, our business goals, and really our shared passion about really helping women get where they want to go. <clears throat> Not just talking about it, doing just it. Just doing right. it, right? We walk the walk. And you um, had her yes. as one yeah. of the speakers. Why did you yes. select her? Well, there's a lot of synergy. She mentioned some of the reasons, but we're just very genuine, authentic, and, it, and authentic about helping women and women in business. So it was something that drew us to each other, and we were connected by uh, many friends, um, and they spoke highly of Freya, and she's just an amazing woman, and she had, she had great skills that to share with the women. For well, the I year, want so. you to share, for the, those who did not go yesterday, what did you speak about? Because it was, I heard, it was a very <laughs> well-received uh, topic. Thank you. I was very fortunate. We had a great group in the workshop, which is titled Smash the Profitability Barricades. And the idea is that this fits with the theme of the workshop, which is her story as opposed to his story. Yes. The vast majority of women-owned businesses never gross more than a million dollars in any given year. And there are some very specific reasons why women-owned businesses tend to get stuck. So, so I imagine at this point, yes. you ca you've got a captivated audience, right? Because I know right now yes. our viewers are going to say, Alberto, ask the question. <laughs> what are some of the reasons? Right, right, right. right, right. Uh, well, you, but that was a great catch, right? Yeah, Spraya knows her stuff. Yeah, yeah so Freya give us a couple stuff. of the reasons. Number one reason and you never think of this, is that women will decide to go into business to sell something that they like. But yes. they're not so sure, they don't check to see if everyone else is going to want it. Mm -hmm. So they think, wow, I have a great idea and I'm going to sell a pink purple widget. Well, you might want a pink purple widget, but did you do the research to see who else is going to buy it and what they're going to be willing to spend? So a lot it? of impulsive kind of based on your personal preference. Personal yeah, preference. I think it's also, you know, women wear many hats. And so that's another reason why this conference speaks to professional women, because it's a, it's a safe space for women to let their hair down and say, 
I need help. I don't know everything, right. but I want to do better. I want more. Yeah. And uh, so that's why the numbers continue to grow. Yeah, and, and, and we're looking at some of the photos from yeah. some uh, previous years. Yeah. You've had some, some stellar speakers yes. and, and superstars. Our Congresswoman. Um, yes, yes, attend indeed. this event. Mm -hmm. um, but I imagine that is part of the discussion, right? It's how to balance the professional with the personal at some point. That's got to be part of the you conversation. Have to. Uh, you, have, you have to. I've fallen down so many times um, over the decades in my personal and professional life, and it was women like Freya that lifted me up and helped me move along in my journey. And a lot of women don't have that. And they don't have they don't have access to it. They don't know how to maneuver around it. Um, so we provide that space for them, and it's a welcoming, warm space where they can let their hair down. Like I said again, and say, you know what, I want to do better and connect with those that are willing to help them. Um, I have a 20 year old daughter, right? So, um, at what point? Do, do I encourage my daughter to go to this? Is this something for young folks as well as seasoned professionals, mid-level? I mean, is this an all-age event for everybody? To, can some, everybody get something out of it? Because I would imagine my daughter would love to come back and meet someone like you and yourself. And just meeting folks that have done it um, would empower uh, someone you know, like my daughter's age. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it's it's open to all ages. We do get st uh, students and young adults coming from Europe every year that participate, um, and it's really a great. Um, platform for young women, mature, seasoned women, professional C-level suites. We get it all at this That's conference. That's what I was trying to, yeah, you get it. We get yeah. it all, um, and we have different workshops that definitely speak to all of them. And then we have fun things that go on throughout the day, too, so. Mm -hmm. So, in this time of, you know, this day and age, how important is this type of event, and specifically here in Boston? It's essential. Yeah. Women have not traditionally lifted each other up, mm -hmm. helped each other along, and this conference gives such a wide variety of women from so many walks of life the opportunity not only to reach up, but to reach down mm -hmm. and to reach across and to form really strong bonds that will allow them to flourish to develop their own stories and to, here in Boston, establish this city as a place where women really are leaders. Yes. Yeah, and yes. you do exactly. Boston or the area is just ready for this. And mm -hmm. you, I imagine you've got a lot of positive reaction from the general community. Amazing. Started with 30 women oh. and now, you know, seven years later at 500. Sponsorship for and you. grown community partners. So we're excited about 2019, reclaiming her story and focusing on being mindful as well. Yeah, I like that. Uh, so her story as opposed to his story. Uh -huh. I never, you know, I never really looked at it that way <laughs> until I read the script and your your thing. Yeah. I said, wow, that was a good, yeah, uh, yeah. That, was, that was a good theme. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank well, you so much. Well, I'm proud of you. I've seen the growth. I'm proud, and now I'm happy to know you. Yes, thank and you so And I did much. not screw up your name, right? <laughs> no, Freya. Freya, yes. We got it. Yes. We got it. Yes. Well, all right. Well, listen, thank you. happy new year. Same to you. Say happy hi to new Emerson. Year. I will. Yes. I certainly will. Say hi to your husband, too. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I don't know him, but say hi to him. <laughs> and uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank, thank you, you so much. This is a great way to end the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's it for this edition of Urban Update. But before we go, hey, a little shout out to an old friend. Charleston hockey legend Pat Sullivan, who I've learned is an Urban Update viewer. Thanks for watching, Jaga. I am Alberto Vasayo. For all of us here at Urban Update, have a great Sunday.